So Wendy is on a trip for work. That means I get to cook something. And uh, I thought it might be instructive for some of the guys out there. This is a super easy way to cook corn. My dad uh, showed me how to do it. You know, taking the husk off of corn and all that silk, that's kind of a lot of work. Um, this way is much easier and you don't have to boil water or do anything like that. Literally all I'm going to do is cut the ends off and microwave it for about two minutes or so and uh, it cooks itself inside the husk and after it's done the husk and the silk just strip off really quite nicely and easily. It's important to uh, slice actually into the cob itself and not in the uh, stem. That way the hus husks will come off. You do lose a little bit of the corn this way, but it's not very much. While we're waiting for the corn in the microwave, why don't I show you some of the uh, footage of me picking the corn out at my dad's place. All right, so fresh out of the microwave. I don't know what these things are called, these little uh, corn cob handle stabby things, but it's pretty warm, so it saves the fingers to put these things on. Of course, we're going to save these for the chickens. Oops. And for the most part, it came off pretty well. There's still a little bit of the silk that I have to pick out but it's not too bad. And for two minutes, that's pretty good, uh, pretty good efficiency for corn, I think. Not that much salt. Here we go. Now for the real test. It's not too bad. It's not as good as Wendy's, although everything that Wendy cooks tastes better, so can't really compare. When Wendy went on her business trip, she didn't leave me high and dry. She left me with a really big pot of the uh, potato leek soup. Uh, we, she filmed herself making it, so you can check out that episode if you'd like. 
Um, anyway, thank you, Dad, for the corn, and thank you, Wendy, for the soup. We're good.